everyone, Gio here, and all. Oh, he's actually inside the house, so Juan Carlos will be joining me later in this video. But for right now, you just got me. So we're in the car, uh, taking you along with me. I've got a couple errands to run. As you know, we recently got bikes, and we've been riding our bikes a lot. And unfortunately, Juan Carlos's bike, his back tire went completely flat. And uh, so we took it to the bike shop yesterday, dropped it off. It's ready now. Got a new uh, tube, apparently. So I'm going to pick that up. And then the most exciting part is I'm picking up new camera gear at Best Buy. Ordered it online, picking it up in the little drive up area. So you get to come along with me. And mainly because I've got this camera that I'm shooting on, which is our main vlog camera. And for those of you that are tech files that are curious, we mainly shoot on the Canon M50. Our go-to lens is the Canon EF 10 to 18 millimeter lens, which gives us a nice wide shot. Looks great for vlogging. Uh, we attach it to a Joby tripod, carry it around with us, and it's great. And we have an external microphone. However, it's a little bulky. And since we've been bike riding, we've been wanting to share that experience with all of you. And uh, I can't ride the bike one-handed and film at the same time. So, we just purchased the GoPro Hero 9, also with the, uh, the new lens adapter mount, which I'm super excited about for additional stabilization. It's got amazing built-in stabilization. And we also bought a mount for the bicycle that goes right on the handle or the grip or any of the bars on the bike so we can mount the camera and you guys get to come along with us whenever we go for bike rides along the beach or wherever. So super excited about this new technology. So stay tuned. We're going to show that to you a little bit later in the video. Uh, and in the meantime, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification so every time we upload a new video, you get notified. And as always, remember, our mantra is happiness is a lifestyle. Today is a happy day. Come with me and let's go have some fun. Happiness is a lifestyle. And easy peasy, just like that, the bike's on the rack. By the way, this is a Saris dual bike rack. Absolutely love it. It's an easy mount hitch bike rack. Easy on, easy off, the bikes fit on it. We can take two bikes anywhere we go. Bought it here at Downtown Cycle, by the way, here in Fort Lauderdale. That's where we bought our bikes. And uh, now off to get the new camera gear. Yay! All right, everybody. I'm at Best Buy, curbside pickup, which is great during this time. I don't even have to go in the store ordered everything online, got a text message with a link, clicking on the link, open it with my Best Buy app, <laughs> I got my order number, all right, I got my order details right here on the phone, purchase date, ready to pick up, I'm at the store, here we go. Bring my items out to me. Bring my items out. Let's find your vehicle. Does your parking space have a number? We are in parking space number three. Next. I'm in an SUV that is white. Show the below number through your window and we'll drop your items in your trunk or back seat. As a safety precaution, please don't roll down your window or exit your vehicle. That's great. They got they got safety all up in here. So when the guy comes out, I guess I'll unlock the door and he'll look at this number right there. I could show you that. There's nothing secretive on there. And then uh, once I show him that number, he'll open the door and just put the bag here in the back. And of course, then I'm gonna grab the bag and make sure I have all of my items because it's camera gear, it's not cheap. So pretty cool. I like this, everybody. It's a nice way of uh, shopping. 
precariously I have you guys sitting up on the dash of just above my steering wheel here you can see so I think that's gonna be one of the nice things about getting this GoPro 9 that because this camera that I'm vlogging on is much more bulky plus it's got the microphone attached to it etc makes it more difficult to do like this kind of stuff where it's just me by myself so I don't have Juan Carlos to hold the camera so uh, and it doesn't really fit on the tripod up there so by putting it there it's a little precarious and I think with the new the new GoPro uh, will be good let's see oh, I got a text message let's see what it says we are heading out with your curbside order please have your four digit code ready they're on their way here they come folks just in case I'm gonna be safe I'm gonna put on my mask out of an abundance of caution not just for myself but to be courteous to them so now we wait I see the guy coming hello ID please yep oh it didn't say that part <laughs> that does though it's usually for orders that are over like three. Yeah, dollars. yeah, it's expensive. I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's all yours. Thank you so Have much. A Have a great day. There you go, everybody. We got it. All right. So because my order was over a certain amount of money, obviously camera gear is expensive. They asked to see my ID. And actually, I'm glad they did. That's for my safety and I guess their safety that they don't give your order to the wrong person so that's great all right so let's take a peek in the bag to make sure everything that i ordered is actually here super excited super excited so the stats on this by the way 20 megapixels um it does up to 5k and you can go 33 feet deep in water with it uh, without having to put an additional housing on it you can actually do live streaming at 1080p which is hd live streaming um, so yeah, I'm excited to get home and get this bad boy charged up and then uh, show you all a little bit about what this GoPro 9 will do. So next stop, unpacking everything. What's over there? It's a pata. It's a pata. Yes. <laughs> and for our English speaking friends? A duck. <laughs> I think it's a female duck. Pata. She's all alone. So we decided to give her some bird feed. She's happy. She's eating. So mm -hmm. check out our little friend. Just got back with the bike. Got it unloaded. We're going to unpack the camera gear here momentarily. But check out our little friendly neighborhood pato or duck. Don't run away. I think I scared it away. Oh. <laughs> she had enough. She's out of here. <laughs> I saw you peeking at my haul over there. From Best Buy. You were peeking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about the new camera equipment? Yes, I am excited. Do you have any idea what it is or what it all does or anything? No, no? just looks fun, cute. Looks cute? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As cute as you? I mm don't -hmm. uh, well, well, You look pretty cute. Mm -hmm. Let's go look at the stuff though. Okay, everybody, I told you he was going to join us later, so here he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you have a nice afternoon while well, I went and ran around and did my chores? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. He was here busy on the computer doing what he had to do. So he's going to be eating some soup because I ate while I was out in the car. I grabbed a, a sandwich since I had to go to the bike shop. I had to go to Best Buy. I had to go get gas for the car. And I went to the grocery store to pick up some stuff to grill on the grill tonight for dinner. Because, yes, we are using the grill, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, are you eating your words yet? Yeah. <laughs> with my soup. No, he's eating a soup. So... Yeah, no, with my soup. Oh, with your soup. You're eating your words with the soup. I like that. So the good news is, as I said, we've picked up some new camera equipment, and the main reason for doing that is twofold. As you all know, I am a photographer and filmmaker by trade, so this is gear that I'm going to use in my job. And we can also use it for our YouTube channel. And uh, one of the impetuses for doing this was that we have our bikes now. He's got his roller blades. Um, and now that we're doing some action stuff, it's sort of impossible to vlog it with our current setup. And so with our new GoPro 9, 
we will be able to mount the camera on the bikes. He can mount it on his helmet while he's rollerblading. We can take it to theme parks with us and go on roller coasters with it. We can go to a water park and yep. go underwater. There's so much more usability that we'll be able to do with this. And then for my work, it's also going to come in real handy as well because of some of the capabilities that this camera has. And I did a lot of research on it. The camera came out at the end of 2020 uh, and before I pulled the trigger, because it's, you know, it's an investment. I wanted to check and see if it was something that I really thought would do well for me. So I did a lot of research online and one of the ways I do research about camera gear is by watching other YouTubers. And um, three of my favorite filmmaker YouTubers extraordinaire are none other than Casey Neistat, Matty Hoopla, and also Peter McKinnon, who are all amazing YouTubers plus also photographers and filmmakers and each one of them did a video specifically on the GoPro Hero 9 that was released in last year at the end of 2020. And uh, they have all given this excellent reviews. And in the past, they like the GoPro, but they've never really been super excited about the GoPro um, as filmmakers. It, it has its place, but it's not always capable of doing all of the things that they wanted. So they've been critical of it in the past. And uh, this time around, they were equally as critical, but surprised in their reviews at the end, each one of them about how capable this camera is, mainly because of the game-changing element that GoPro created for this camera, these mod lenses that you can put on. So the camera has amazing image stabilization inside. It has a front camera and a back camera, which is great for us as vloggers uh, for setting up shots and putting it on a tripod, being able to make sure we're in, in shot. The image stabilization built into the camera is second to none. It's amazing. Add this to it and it's, it's remarkable, absolutely remarkable. So we're gonna take it out in a real life test here in a little while and I'll actually show you some footage. I'm gonna mount it on the bike with just the image stabilization within the camera by itself and then with the mod on it, which is the mod lens called the Max Mod Lens. So you can see the difference of how amazing the image stabilization is within it. There are a few uh, things that, like you can't shoot in full 4K at, in that image stabilization horizon mode, um, which apparently is not a game changer because you can still upsize the footage and the quality of the footage is so good that it'll still look good even if you're showing it at 1080, which is HD or 4K. So anyway, so here it is for opening the box, shall we? <laughs> I'm excited. We shall. Of course, I hate. Oh, I gotta tear it apart. I'm gonna cut it. Comes in a nice little case, which is nice. I wasn't expecting. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little hard case. Here it is, right out of the box. We've got the instruction card up here. Comes with a little, and this is it, folks. I mean, it's tiny compared to a regular DSLR camera. Mm -hmm. I mean, the footprint of this is relatively small. It's got a little weight to it. It's not super heavy. Hmm. Much lighter than the camera that we're filming on right now. Um, so I'm gonna unpack this. Um, so you get, the, you get this in the box. You get one battery, which is right here comes with the USB to be able to charge it and you can plug the you know the end of the USB into any electrical source. It comes with the curved adhesive mount which will be perfect for your helmet. Mm -hmm. You can put that on your helmet. And then it comes with the the little accessory that all GoPros come with which this is the the piece that you attach the camera to different mounts. So for example, the mount that we purchased specifically for us, this is a bicycle mount. So we're going to be able to put this on the handlebar of our bikes or on the, the, the frame of the bike. And we'll be able to capture a bunch of really cool different shots. Point of view of us riding. We can turn the camera, catch us, mm -hmm. see you behind me, put it on the back of the bike. I can film him riding. We can switch it around. He can put it on the back of his bike. We can, yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff we're going to be able to do. Awesome. You excited? Very and it has, what's nice about this is that once it's mounted, it has 360 degree rotation. So we don't have to take the camera off the mount to turn it. We can just actually 
turn it and it will stay in place. So that's a nice feature that GoPro did with the handlebar seat post pole mount. And uh, since, you know, we're going to be using this quite a bit, one battery is not quite enough, even though apparently these batteries are larger than previous GoPro batteries and their lifespan is a little bit longer, which is great. I went ahead and picked up the dual charger pack, which comes with an additional battery. So that gives us two batteries, which should be plenty for, you know, a day's use out in the field. And since we're going to be doing things in and around the water, this is called the handler. And this is actually a waterproof, open it up so you guys can see it. Because a little important note is that even though this camera is waterproof up to 33 feet, which is great in and of itself, as long as you have the battery door and the, the um, SD slot closed, or micro SD, uh, it's waterproof. But it doesn't float. Mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. So if you actually are out in the water and a wave hits you and you drop it, it's going to the bottom of the ocean. So I picked up this, which is a handheld, which you can have with a wrist strap that goes around your wrist. And if by accident you drop it in the water, it's going to flip upside down, float with this little orange top so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So it's a good safety good feature to have. It's a great idea that GoPro came out with. So super excited about this and it's comfy. Feel the grip. I'll see. So it's not going to be hard on your hand. This will be great to take to the theme parks with us too. Again, very low profile. This We throw this in the backpack with this and our other setup. It's a great mm -hmm. option for us, right? So yeah, and then in one additional item I picked up is the other. It's called the Max Grip Tripod. So in those instances where we're not in and around the water, and I need to use the tripod and can take it into a theme park where selfie sticks in most theme parks are not allowed anymore. But a device like this, you can throw in your backpack and it has three legs. It's a tripod, so therefore it gets around some of those rules. And it opens up, see? So you can put your GoPro and set it in different places and it also extends. So it does have an extension pole on it. So if, for example, we were wanting to watch, you know, a fireworks show or something, I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to go like this, but it would be nice to have the camera just held here mm -hmm. and more at our eye level watching mm -hmm. a show and not have to lift your arms up and get tired. So this is a great, great tool for us. So that's our haul. Amor, what do you think? Everything looks great. Yeah? Yes, yeah, I'm excited, you to excited? Start, yeah, to start doing stuff with it. Me too. I'm real excited about this lens modification and to really see, because what, what I've been told and what I've seen in videos is if you take a camera, any regular camera, and you do this, your footage is going to, but this acts like an internal stabilizer. It has great stabilization in here. You put this new mod lens on it, you can actually turn this 365 degrees. It's going to focus on the horizon and be butter smooth and just stay mm -hmm. in one spot. So it's great. Think about it for like going on a roller coaster or even on the bikes yeah. or whatever. You're going to get a smooth shot and it's not going to be all jumpy and choppy. And I'm excited. We're excited. Yeah. Super excited to use it tomorrow too because my client has us going out on a boat tomorrow where we're going out on jet skis and... I've got to get footage of models out on the water. So that's going to be interesting. So, all right. So that's it for the unpacking. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you a little bit of footage and then we'll do a little wrap up at the end. All right, everyone. So we are now officially vlogging mm -hmm. for the first time with our <laughs> new GoPro Hero yes. 9. So hopefully the picture looks good. I think, I think it does. I think, yeah, yeah, I think so. We'll see when we put it on the computer. Uh, but as you can see, we got our bikes behind us. We got JC's bike repaired, as you know. By the way, it's a couple days later. Uh, the day I got the GoPro, by the time I charged the batteries, it was nighttime, and then we finally had some rain that we've been waiting for desperately here. So we haven't had a chance to take it out and test it. Plus, I had my uh, shoot for my client, mm -hmm. uh, which I did use the GoPro on and was very happy with the footage. So I also made another purchase when I got Juan Carlos's tire fixed. 
I bought myself a new seat for my bike because my big old booty was getting sore. So it's got cushions. What do you think of it? It looks comfy. Yeah, I did a quick little down the street and around. It feels pretty comfortable. So this will be my first official ride. Um, and I've got the mount over here, show you. Right here, this is gonna be for the GoPro. And the cool thing is all you gotta do is push this little lever and it spins so I can turn it 360. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's gonna be great. So let's do our first uh, ride on the bike. So we'll get to take you along with us. We're gonna go over to our neighborhood park. So we are ready to go. Three, two, two one. one. is going good and it's very easy to turn the camera the 360 even while I'm riding so that made it easy so I'll turn you guys back around here in a moment when we get to the park and uh, show you where we're riding today Literally for months, we've been coming here to uh, see a couple of friends, um, two owls. It's like very exciting. See? Mm. It's looking up and down. It's eating something. It's got a stick. Maybe it's a bone. See? I it's a bone. It's a bone. And well, I think they're gone because their nest is now like all covered. And it used to be like a hole in the, in the ground. Now it's covered with sand. So maybe they are gone or I don't know, but I'm sad because I'd love to come here and just say hi to them. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. I have the camera still on the bike, but, but yeah, their burrow is completely covered right now. So maybe they've moved on. Wah, wah. But anyway, moving on, continuing our bike ride. Are you having fun yet? Are you enjoying this? <laughs> Hope so.
everybody. So there you go. That's the little park not far from where we live. How long did we ride? Like 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes. We still have maybe 10 more minutes to ride before we get home. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to take you through our neighborhood because some things we got to keep private. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are our new bikes. We absolutely love them as we've showed you before. Uh, no promotion, but the company that makes them is called Sun Bikes and we really like them. And yep. we, we each have the, the Drifter series of the Sun Bike. Uh, so if you're looking for a good uh, hybrid cruiser, it's a good, good deal. Um, yeah, so we're going to do this, you know, several times a week. We'll go to different places. We'll take you with us. We'll go to Hollywood Beach. So we're excited about this new camera, though. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was fun. We got to mount it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to put it on my uh, helmet. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. When it's roller skating. Yep. You guys and can see it every time I fall. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm curious to see how smooth the footage is, too, because this has the built-in stabilization. So I used that. I didn't use the modified lens. We'll do that next time, because if this footage isn't quite as smooth as I think it's going to be, the modified lens will make it even smoother. So all the little bumps that we go over while we're riding, it should look very smooth to you all watching. Comments below, let us know what you think. As always, happiness is a lifestyle. And we appreciate you all watching very much. And if you haven't done so yet, please, please subscribe. Please do it, right? Yeah, we're almost 5,000 already. We're, we're, we're just like, like just this close. This close, 5,000. Maybe by the time that you watch this video, we'll be over 5,000. Yeah, that would be really nice. So share it with your friends. And then we're gonna be on the road to 10,000. Yes. Upwards, 50,000. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's a lofty goal. But anyway, ciao for now.